Hey there, Z here from S&P GM down in Stockport. Now, the video you're about to watch is that of S&P client Amanda. Now, before Amanda joined S&P, she was really stuck in a rut. She was, she was struggling to get back into training. She'd been used to play a lot of sport, but hadn't really done that for a while. So she put a bit of weight on. She wanted to lose at least two dress sizes in order to get down to her ideal kind of shape to a point where she really felt comfortable. Um, and I think she was really nervous about, about joining S&P and that everyone was going to be body beautiful and in, in great shape. Um, so please watch the video, see what you think. Go check it out right now. This is a problem already. Right, I'll start now. <laughs> <laughs> So can you tell me your name, age and occupation, please? Yeah. So it's Amanda, I'm 25, um, and I'm a recruitment consultant. Oh, yeah. Um, and what encouraged you to join S&P? Um, to be fair, um, I hadn't, I mean, previously, my, like my background, mm -hmm. um, I played netball since, I don't know, for like 15 years, I was always into team sports. Um, and then since uni, I moved to New Zealand and kind of got out of, sort of the swing of things. Changed my job. Um, I used to be you know, on my feet all the time. And then I moved into an office job. Um, and then I kind of just you know, fell out of the swing of things and got into a bit of a rut. Um, and I wasn't really sort of happy with maybe the way I looked and the way mm -hmm. I felt. Um, so I decided to like take a jump and you know, sort of think, what do I need to do? I need to get active again. Mm -hmm. um, there were plans to join a commercial gym, even though I've never been to a gym before. Mm -hmm. um, and then the, there were a few little hiccups, and um, then I, I was just on Facebook and see some advertisement from s and mm -hmm. and kept watching the videos, and I thought, you know what, this looks like something I'd like. So I uh, just clicked the button to apply, and then Z gave me a call. Okay. So before you did click that button, and you said that you'd changed your job, and so it was affecting you, the fact that you weren't active anymore. So to what extent did it affect you? I think it was just confidence. Right. I mean, I'm quite a confident person in terms of, you know, building relationships with people. I'm not afraid to go and introduce myself. I'm quite outgoing, I love going out socialising. Mm -hmm. But I think, you know, the aesthetics and, you know, physical aspects, clothes not fitting, mm -hmm. um, those kind of things, you know, I, I wasn't quite happy about. I thought it could be better. Uh, than what I was, mm -hmm. so. Okay. So, what were your fears before joining S&P? Oh, <laughs> loads of stuff. <laughs> Go on, tell me um, everything. <laughs> Again, like I said, because I've never joined a gym before. Mm -hmm. That's not really kind of like my sort of, what was me. Mm -hmm. um, so my fear was thinking that, you know, I'm gonna join a gym, mm -hmm. everyone's gonna be really, really fit. You know, I'm not gonna be able to keep up. Um, I'm gonna be completely out of my depth. There's going to be all these, you know, gorgeous looking people everywhere and I'm just going to look like, you know, someone who sticks out like a sore thumb. Um, kind of like, you know, sort of stereotypical things that you would see maybe in a commercial gym. And, um, but it was it's completely not like that at all. So that was your apprehension before stepping into the gym. Yeah. They're all the thoughts you had. And then how did it change when you actually arrived? I remember my first day, again, I didn't know what I was doing. I walked in and I seen Z straight away and then he sat me down and signed me up. And um, there were a couple of people that joined me on the same day and everyone just made me feel welcome. Mm -hmm. And, you know, we just got thrown straight into it. And, you know, they sort of stood, with, stood by me the whole step of the way through the session. And I think it was more the people on the training session, you know, never met them before. We were doing a few sort of like team exercises and already they were calling my name, come mm -hmm. on Amanda, come mm -hmm. on Amanda. And I think that's when I knew, I thought, you know what, I like this place. Mm -hmm. This is for me. So when you heard someone call your name, how did that make you feel? It just made me feel like part of a team. Mm -hmm. And again, with having, you know, a background from team sports, that's what carries you through. Mm -hmm. You know, I don't have the motivation to do things myself. Otherwise I would have gone to a, you know, a commercial gym or I'd go out and do running. I don't like any of that, so, you know, <laughs> okay. I've, I've got to, I, I need someone to sort of encourage me and tell me, you know, you need to keep going, or if I am struggling but I see everyone else doing it, mm -hmm. I'm thinking, oh, come on, Amanda, you've got to, you know, pull your finger out, sort mm -hmm. of a thing, so. Mm -hmm. So other people spur you on? Pretty much, yeah. yeah. So tell me about what you struggled with before you joined then, everything that made you <coughs> click to join s and I think... One of the things, well, what made me want to click uh, and join s and is, is definitely the confidence mm -hmm. in myself, you know, the way my clothes were fitting. I remember saying to Z that I wanted to, to lose two dress sizes, 
you know, I thought after the 12 weeks, you know, this is going to happen and I'm going to be a lot fitter. That was a big thing for me. Mm-hmm. Um, and then I think about, you know, things to do with my diet as well. I mean, I'm not going to lie, I, I used to have, you know, fast food all the time, KFC, mm-hmm. McDonald's. I'd have loads of, you know, like savoury snacks. I would never had a sweet tooth or anything. Mm-hmm. It was always about savoury snacks. Um, so I thought maybe, you know, they'd be able to, like, guide me and, um, you know, take take me through that sort of process. Never had any ideas of any, you know, weightlifting or anything like that or, okay. or other goals. And do you think now that you're, you're armed with the knowledge about nutrition that you obviously you weren't before and you're using it? Yeah, like, definitely. I remember when I first joined and um, they gave us uh, the five habits. Mm-hmm. Um, and I stand by it. I think that's the most important thing. Um, it, it, it's five simple things, you know, that, that you need to just, you know, get into your routine before you start thinking about anything else. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't personally believe in diets. I don't think, you know, um, it's the right way to go about things if you deprive yourself completely of something. Mm-hmm. Um, they do have, you know, other nutrition manuals as well. Um, we did a 30 day accelerator, which was a challenge. Uh-huh. Um, the second time around I tried it anyway. Okay. Um, but yeah, I think it's just about keeping it simple and, and not sort of overcomplicating things. Mm-hmm. And also it depends really what you want in terms of your training or how mm-hmm. you want to look. And I think only right now I've, I've started to really master what it is about the diet that, or what it is that I want. Mm-hmm. Um, and I'm pretty happy at this moment. Time, good, yeah. good. Tell me about your results from the 30 day accelerator. Um, well, I was going to say it was really, really hard. <laughs> so in the first two weeks, you know, cutting out a lot. Of, I love cheese, love cheese, um, love all my dairy. Cutting out all the bread, I think the first week was quite hard. Mm-hmm. Um, I think, after, you know, by the third or fourth week, mm-hmm. you know, during training, I started to feel a lot fitter mm-hmm. or, or more alert, should I say. Um, I felt more awake in work. Um, and I actually lost, or I think it was about 62 kg, and I, I went down to 58 kg. Amazing. But, but rather than the actual Amazing. weight itself, it was the difference in the pictures. Yeah. And my weight had literally gone in, mm-hmm. um, which was, you know, it was brilliant. And next, tell me about lifting, because you are a strong girl. So <laughs> what did you use to lift and what do you lift now? Well... Uh, again, before SMP, never did any weightlifting mm-hmm. at all. Never perceived it as a woman's thing. Mm-hmm. I always thought it was it was a guy's thing, you know, lifting weights. You're gonna get bulky. Um, and again, I joined the sh- the, the fit uh, first of all. Mm-hmm. Um, and the guys were trying to get me to go to the strong side for for ages, months and months. Um, so you know, I was I was starting from the big from, from the beginning basically. Um, but not long ago, we had our heavy week and again, first time lifting and um, I weigh 60 kg now. Yep. Um, I'm a deadlift, so I've managed to lift 100 kg, which I'm over the moon with. Yeah. Amazing, well yeah. done. Um, and I was only going for 90. Um, and then squats, again, I was aiming to just get 60 in my body weight and I managed to get 75. So, you know, <laughs> how did that make you feel? <laughs> I, I, I was elated. Yeah. I was absolutely buzzing. I was really proud. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You should be proud of yourself. That's yeah. amazing. That's amazing. <laughs> so tell me now what S and P means to you. I think, you know, when I first started, I thought I was just going to be here for twelve weeks, mm-hmm. um, go through the plan, learn, a f- you know, tips and and sort of exercises, and then maybe I can go to a different gym and you know do it on my own, basically. Um, since then. I've met probably the best bunch of people I've ever met in my life. I've made some really close friends Mm -hmm. um, that, you know, we've grown a massive bond. And if I could sum it up in one word, it would be family. Mm -hmm. Um, The the amount of support that's here, whether it's from the coaches or it's from the team members, Mm -hmm. um, it's it's unreal. Um, And I don't think you can put a price on that. Mm -hmm. And... Also, how have we helped you? So it's sort of major breakthroughs. You, you touched upon nutrition. Was there anything else you think we've helped you break through? Confidence, I, th- I would say, and more than anything. I think just, you know, coming to realisation that it's not all about, you know, what, how can I say? 
I'm happy with what I've got now. Mm -hmm. Obviously, you're always trying to strive for more, but you learn. To, you need to learn that things aren't going to happen so quickly. Mm -hmm. You've got to play the long game, um, and I think that's what that's what's helped. And you know, there are stressful times, like say, for example, in work, and I come here to escape everything. Mm -hmm. This is the place I come to. This is my place of zen. Mm -hmm. So I think it's just helped me break through, you know, that confidence issues, managing, you know, certain levels of stress, um, again, diets and, yeah. you know, just, just all of it together, really. Everything. Yeah. And could you explain why you think S&P is just different to anywhere else? I think the support and culture. Mm -hmm. I think, you know, again, you could go to a commercial gym, you could pay for a PT, um, you walk in, you don't know any anyone from left to right so you know it's, it, it is what it is when you come here you know I like to come in and have a brew I like to stay and have a chat with people integrate and you know we have a lot of socials outside um, there's been a I say within the last year there's been a lot of things going on in other people's personal personal lives and we've all come together um, there's just something about it. There's a lot of support. And then in terms of the training, you know, mm -hmm. you can have your private PT sessions, you can have your group sessions, you're strong, you're fit. Mm -hmm. um, it doesn't matter what background you've got. It doesn't matter what fitness level you are. But the one thing that we all have in common is that we all have the same sort of drive. Mm -hmm. We'd like to think we do. We all want to come together and we want to, you know, tear the place up and, you know, get stuff done and, and you know it's it, I think that's what separates us really thank you and finally what would you say to someone considering joining s and I'd say think really think hard about why you want to join a gym not just s and why you want to join a gym and then think about would s and be right for you do you fit into that culture so do you want to work hard do you want to, you know, get results? Are you patient? And do you actually, you know, do you sort of believe in, in, in the goals that you want? I see a lot of people who, you know, expect quick fixes. They expect things to happen straight away. Um, there's a lot of, you know, things in the media that can sort of influence you and, and so forth. So I would say you need to think really hard why you want to join a gym first and then look again and, and look at S&P's page and see what we're all about. Then have a chat with the coaches and, and really see if you would fit in here really. But it's, again, everyone's got a different background. There's no right or wrong person. It's, it's just a great place. Okay, so that was Amanda's video. Now, I hope you enjoyed watching uh, the video there. And if anything that you've heard or seen has resonated with you, what I'd really like you to do right now is, is go on this page somewhere, you'll find a button, click on it, it's gonna take you through to an application for, form for one of our programs. And that's gonna really help us to sort of dig into the detail and really help you kind of put all that frustration in the past and help you move forward and create an awesome life for yourself. So click on the link and I will see you soon. This is Z from S&P Gym saying take care, see you soon. Bye-bye.